to change the order of the agenda slightly. With the agreement of both um, Leader and Leader of the Opposition beforehand, we have a matter of urgent business before us to be found as item 16 on the supplementary pages to appoint a section 151 officer and a deputy section 151 officer. So um, I'm going to take that first primarily because for the explanation of councillors and members of the public, it would be wise to have a section 151 officer in place before we proceed with any further business in the meeting. So we'll turn to that and I'll ask um, Jackie if you wouldn't mind leaving the room for this. Obviously, we'll let you know when you can come back. And I think I'm handing over to James to introduce the paper. Oh, ah, sorry, I'm heading over to Dan to introduce the paper. Yeah, formally proposed that, Chair. Okay, and is it seconded? Formally seconded. Thank you very much. Um, would you like to speak? Thank you, Chair. Um, as the report sets out, it's a statutory requirement for the Council to have a Section 151 officer. We are very lucky in that we have a fantastic uh, individual recommended with significant experience, uh, which I think will be of great benefit to the Council, and therefore I proudly recommend uh, that both Jackie become Section 151 officer and Richard become Deputy Section 151 officer. Thank you, Councillor Swords. Uh, Councillor Carter, you formally seconded. Would you like to speak at this moment? No, thank you. I think the Leader has said all. Does anyone wish to debate? Councillor Griggs. Uh, thank you, Chair. I'd actually like to seek a point of clarification regarding this. Uh, in, that, in the meeting of the 17th of October, the appointment of the acting head of paid service and the appointment of the returning officer were deemed necessary to be conducted in private with to the exclusion of press and public. I just want to know why we are doing this in public and not those two appointments. What's the difference? Thank you, Councillor Griggs. I'll hand over to the monitoring officer to deal with that. Thank you, Councillor Griggs, and thank you for your question. Uh, to clarify then, uh, the report before Chamber in the last special meeting was exempt and publicly uh, exempt and published that way. The appointments were one of five recommendations that was all tied up in one exempt report, hence the reason why it went into part two. Um, up until then, all 151 officers have been appointed in the public, um, as has the monitoring officer recently. I hope that helps. Thank you very much. Is there any further need for debate? In which case, Councillor Carter, I'll come back to you if you've reserved. No, you already said you didn't. Councillor Swords, do you wish to sum up? Can I see the item agreed? Thank you very much. Do you want to let Jackie know she can come back in? Congratulations, Jackie. Both you and Richard have been successful in the appointment. Welcome to your new role. 